Hello, this is Hello from Trifold Productions with another Blender Quick Tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can fill holes or gaps in your mesh in Blender the easy way. And it's, I just found this out actually just now. Uh, but let me open up Blender. You can use this for any version of Blender uh, 2.79, 2.8, I think it works. And other versions of 2.7. Uh, but let me open up Blender. This is Blender. This is a 2.82, I think, that I'm opening up. Okay, I'm going to, let's use this cube, for example. I'm going to subdivide this cube uh, by adding a subsurface modifier to it. So go to my left, left, or the right side of my panel, click on the wrench there, add modifier. And from the pop-up menu, let's left click and choose subdivision surface. And it's going to turn our cube into a bit, bit of a, kind of a hexagonal or yeah, hexagonal, hectagonal kind of a shape. And we're going to increase the number of subdivisions on here by cranking up, cranking up uh, the viewport aspect of it. That's to two. Let's do it one more time to three. Let's click apply. That's going to uh, actually apply it to our mesh and make it permanent. And then we're going to go into edit mode by clicking tab on our keyboard. Let me see, we're going to actually, let me see, we're going to delete the uh, couple of these faces so we can see how this um, add-on works. This, you don't have to download this, this comes with Blender. Let's click on faces, that'll be easier to uh, select the mesh, parts of the mesh like that. Left click on that, hold down shift. Left click, left click, left click, left click, left click and then press delete on the keyboard and delete our faces there. It's going to put this hole in our mesh. Let's say this happens to you. You accidentally like uh, put a gap in your mesh. You want to delete it. What I used to do before, which was kind of tedious, is that I would go into edge select mode and then left click on a part of the uh, opening there. <coughs> Excuse me. Hold down shift and then left click left click and then press F and I will keep doing that all the way down till I got to the bottom <coughs> excuse me that's a lot of phlegm in my throat but found an easy way to do it now let me press control Z to go back and it's still the same kind of process go into edge modes and then choose an edge and just press F F F F F F and then that's it that's all you have to do to uh, fill up a hole in a mesh and it can go on the flat plane. So let's let's uh, choose a flat plane. Let's tab out of edit mode. I'm going to move this over by going to my move gizmo. Left click and drag on the Y axis. And I'm going to press shift A again. Open up the uh, pop up menu and choose plane. Let's scale this up with S. Go to edit mode by pressing tab. W subdivide this. Subdivide it from this uh, side menu. I'm going to expand that and type in 10, enter, minimize that, <coughs> excuse me. I'm going to the same process, just delete a couple of these uh, faces, go into face, select, left click, I'm going to left click all the way down, and then press delete, delete the faces. Go back to edge select. Now oh, the weather is really changing. It's really affecting my, my throat here, but I want to just keep powering through. Um, and when I've gone to uh, edge selection mode, I'm going to left click on that and just press F. And that's it. Yeah, it's pretty fast, pretty simple. And that's pretty much Blender Quick Tip for today, how to fill up spaces or gaps in your mesh the easy, fast way. So hopefully, I hope this was uh, helpful to someone out there who's watching and once again i really appreciate you guys for watching the tutorials and the reason why i do these tutorials is because when i first started using blender as a beginner it was something else i mean i was on the verge of actually buying multiple computers because every time i worked on something in blender and this is just applies to any form of 3d animation or 3d pro um software i felt like throwing my computer out, out the window because it was just <clears throat> just something else to just keep running into all these simple mistakes that have simple solutions. 
So that's why I, I do these tutorials for people who are just learning Blender, learning 3D animation, just tips that will help you ease your workflow. So once again, thank you for watching. Appreciate you guys. Thank you guys who have subscribed and those who will subscribe in the future. Really thank you guys. And once again, stay safe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.